Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. How y'all doing? I am playing Expeditions Conquistador. I have this open for a reason. If you look at missions, last time we um, fought a group that was made out of um, natives and a few Spaniards. Because apparently Felipe Gutierrez, <clears throat> his party split in two. They had a mutiny or something. So they, our next mission is to follow the river north to locate the depot by um, that was used by Gutierrez's expedition. To see if we can find more of what happened to the um, survivors, I guess. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. First of all, we're going to camp in the river, apparently. <laughs> that seems like a decent idea. Why not? Sure. Nobody robbed us in the river. What's going to happen? Frogs would? Piranhas? I don't think we're far enough south for piranha, but I'm piranhas, but I'm not sure. Not exactly a piranha expert. Okay, so we're following the river. It's probably that thing up there. It's probably that? No? that oh that must be it Gutierrez's treasure so let's camp okay we're gonna check out this come on touch the magic rock go 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 touch the magic rock and we'll kill that pig come in piggy I need some meats yep thank you what's all this shit here graves the spring Oh, that must be the spring over there. Oh, and there's the treasure. I'm going to check out the spring first. Okay, I'm going to go check out the treasure first, and then we'll come back to the spring. Because <laughs> if I don't, I'm just going to get confused. Goal started. Tavern complete. Oh, our tavern's complete. But I want to go to the cat. Oh, I want to go to their tavern now in our fortress. Okay, let's check out this. A simple cross marks the grave site, but though the marker itself is modest, the grave is alive with movement. Wind rustles, fireflies buzz through the air, the bugs are crawling across the dirt mound. Let's dig up the grave. You exhume the buried corpse, and there's nothing unusual about the skull. Well, we found the big head, dude. I don't know why that matters. Okay, metal. Let's go check out the spring. There's something to do at the spring. And then we'll go the other way for Gutierrez's treasure, I guess. Okay, Mr. Pig? Oh. We have to camp again. Yeah, we'll have you hunt. Somebody stole some of our metal. Sons of bitches. Okay, let's check out this. The spring must be the source of the stream that supplies Papantalata with water. Miguel scratches his head. You know, Capitan, with the right mixtures of herbs, I believe we could create a mixture that, if dumped in the spring, could make the water downstream quite undrinkable. In fact, anybody drinking from it would very quickly be rendered unable to participate in battle. Would it kill him? There would almost certainly be some deaths, primarily long children, elders, or those already weakened. We're gonna leave. We don't want to poison those people, because they're gonna be our allies against the Aztecs, so fuck that shit. Come on, Miguel. Get your shit together, man. We're gonna take down the Aztec Empire. We're going to be rich. We're going to be heroes. Well, not to the Aztecs, but to the other tribes who had to live under their vicious rule. Okay, the spring. we got to get back down to the river. Okay, there's the river. It's the day of the Lord, February 19, 1519. Man, before long we'll have been in the New World for a year. Okay, we'll grab this. We'll grab the herbs. You've encountered particularly thick jungle overgrowth today, and travel will be painstakingly slow as your crew clears a large enough path for the caravan to pass through. Um, the remainder of your movement is halved until tomorrow. See, a caravan is the kind of thing the Care Bears would have. Because it's a care... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Give me those damn herbs. Can I have... Oh, we got to camp? We can't pick them up. Right there, we can't pick them up. Fair enough. Okay. Give me those fucking herbs. There we go. We're just following the river. 
So after this, we're gonna go back north to the. Um, is this the depot? Gotta run around it. Making your way slowly up the river, your people seem a little on edge. Perhaps it's excitement about the possibility of finding some of their long-lost countrymen alive. Perhaps it's quiet dread at the prospect of discovering the demise of Felipe Gutierrez, which we've already discovered. Most likely it's a mixture of both. You're keeping an eye out for anything that could be described as the gate. And eventually, a pretty promising candidate shows up among the treetops a little ways into the jungle. A giant stone arch that looks like it ought to be the entrance to an enormous temple, but which seems to be standing all alone up between the trees. Let's approach the arch. You leave your horses with the servants and take your followers to investigate the arch. The arch itself is uncharacteristically plain, hewn from rough stones, as though whoever erected it somehow never got around to etching in the typical Aztec symbols that you've seen many times on your travels. You pass through it without incidents and stop to survey the ruins of, a modest, of the modest buildings on the other side. Far from an enormous palace deserving of such an imposing gateway, three small stone houses is all you find. Search the houses. Inside one of the houses, you find what must be the remains of Felipe Gutierrez. Oh, I thought we already found his body. A skeleton sitting on the floor, propped up against the old stone wall, clothed in withered remains of once fine garbs, bones long since picked clean by whatever vermin lives in this part of the jungle. Old traces of blood on the floor illustrate his path towards what became his final resting place. Next to his hand lies his beautiful banner with his family crest. His other hand clutches a piece of cloth, part of the uniform of an officer of the Spanish Navy. It's soaked up in dry blood. Search the other houses. The other houses contain a great amount of goods that must have make must make up the spoils of Gutierrez's expedition. I like that. Fine Aztec works of arts. We can sell those. Most of made mo made mostly out of gold or coated in it. Sacks that look like they used to contain several days worth of rations, which have since been eaten by vermin. A few securely packed boxes of medicinal supplies, partly from Spain, but supplemented with native remedies. The only thing missing is weapons. I don't care. To give us the money. You send back somebody to get the horses and salvage everything that's salvageable before you leave. You, com you are compelled to give Gutierrez the proper burial. Laszlo picks Gu up Gutierrez's banner. Uh, Laszlo picks Gutierrez's banner up off the floor, off the ground, and raises it. Myron as it unfolds. That's a beautiful banner. He would want to be buried with it. Oh, Laszlo. Gabriella Ibera folds her hands respectfully in front of her. I think it would be a disgrace to bury Gutierrez's banner, Laszlo. We should take it with us and bring it into battle, as it was meant to be used in honor of his memory. Uh, whatever. I can, we can keep his damn banner if you want. I don't care. Disapproving me, proving all expedition members have lost morale. The greedy ones have gained it. Disapproving murmurs pass between some of your members of your expedition when your servants cover the fresh grave of Gutierrez with dirt. I didn't... Whatever you guys... Oh, I don't care. We got 500 valuables. The murmurs quiet down as they place a wooden cross as nice as you had time to make it on the great explorer's grave. But when you carefully pack his banner in amongst your belongings and head out again, the sense of disapproval <laughs> lingers in the air like a stench of rotten garbage. Is it an item? Places a banner that doubles the morale of units within one space of the banner. We really didn't need that. <laughs> We're never going to use that. We're never going to use that. Right now, we're never going to use the cannon. Our magic spear and our spike traps, I think, sound better. Um, let's see what our unit's morales are. Peace. We can promote somebody else. Koyoto, what are you? You're champion? It's a blow dart? Yeah, we'll promote you. We'll give you uh, that keen thing. Where is it? You have G H I G K. With it ignores up to 7 points of the target's armor. Deals an extra 5 points of damage for every space moved just prior to the attack. Charge? That looks kick-ass. Okay, we'll give you some points for everything. Because I don't really know what I'm going to have you do. So, um, didn't we just move you up? Can we promote you again? Is that what they're saying? Can we promote the dock? I don't think we need to promote the dock. Um, oh, Anna! I can't believe I didn't promote her. Um, let's see. She's already got Keen Eye. Give her Fortune Favor. That increases her crit chance. Kick ass. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't do that earlier. I should have. Um, we'll give her some more of the uh, equipment. Kick ass. That's pretty badass. So, let's see. We've already been there. The Temple of Death. 
Um, can we go any further this way? Ooh, we can definitely go further that way. Hell yeah, give me that treasure, bitches. That's gonna be our name, treasure bitches when we get home. Tonight only, treasure bitches. Treasure the moment with bitches. It's like a Hallmark card. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the fortress. We built a tavern, so I will meet you there. We can see our fortress. Maybe we can expand our fortress more. See how many soldiers have gotten there. Sooner or later, we want to get everyone together and make a move on the Aztecs. All right, everybody. We are, went from all the way down here, all the way up here, and we are back at our fortress. So let's go inside our fortress. We can get this stuff when we come out if I think about it. We've, we've kind of got a fair amount of supplies right now, so I'm not terribly worried. I'm going to want to see the new tavern we built. Hopefully it's tavern -rific. Your work has completed a new tavern for your fortress. Once again, they are at your disposal. Buy a round of drinks at the tavern to gain a small morale boost for all your people. You can also ask the tavern keeper if he's heard any rumors that might help you on your expedition. Um, first of all, let's visit our um, barracks. Um, and perform a head count. Let's see how big it was. Last time I think it was 40. 66! Kick ass! Let's, um, let's expand the fortress. Um, what's the workshop do? What's the chapel do? Let's see, it's a, it'll make our pious followers happier. We don't have many pious followers, so I'm not so worried about it. Let's see, the workshop will build some crafting material. Um, we'll build the trading post first of all, because then we can trade with back home, and that way, um, it'll make this a more vibrant place. Oh, sweet, so these buildings do go up. This must be our tavern. Let's go check it out. Freshly painted sign outside the tavern door proclaims El Pollo Diablo. Sweet. <laughs> What's the devil got to do with it? It'd be a shame to call the new tavern classy, but at least it's clean for now. And it appears to have a certain homely atmosphere that makes soldiers and workers alike loosen up and get drunk. Well, that is the point of drinking alcohol, I guess. Enter the tavern. You find the innkeeper in the back. In the process of unpacking a shipment of wine barrels from Santa Domingo, he is a tall but fit altered gentleman with long hair tied in a ponytail and an immaculate black beard with silver streaks. Oh, Captain Dick Succio! Succio! It's an honor to meet you at last. I'm amazed what you've done with this settlement. I admire a man with strong entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, the pleasure's all mine, senor. Gaspar Gonzalez Carl, at your service. The name is clearly Dirty Portuguese, which explains his obvious accent. <laughs> Um, how did you make it here, here to the fort, dude? Please, I would be honored if you would simply call me Gaspar. I arrived via Santa Domingo not a week ago. I was eager to come here and serve your garrison as soon as I heard of your expedition. Uh, how do you want to serve me then, Brosif? I like some whiskey on the rocks. Oh, we probably don't have a nice machine. Ah, uh, as your tavern keeper, I will keep your people satisfied and give them a harmless way to relax and spend their wages. If in the course of supplying your men with drinking good food, I should pick up a few rumors or uh, concerns among the men that you might benefit from knowing, I will, of course, bring them to your attention. He gives you a servile bow. Oh, thanks. Uh, I will benefit from your service, Gaspar. He bows again. Um, I'll buy a round for everybody. Buying a round of wine for everybody would certainly raise morale. Drink is hard to come by in this land. As such a gesture would set you back no less than a thousand valuables should also be noted that it probably wouldn't have any effect on people who are already loyal. I will buy drinks. Most of my people are probably already loyal. Fuck it, I'll buy them once. They worked hard for it. The loudness of the cheer that follows your announcement cannot be overstated, and your people do not hesitate to grab their free drink. Its effect on the morale of your troops and battle aside, uh, you've certainly made a lot of people happy. I guess there are no rumors for us here yet. Well, at least we've got the trading post going. Um, eventually we'll build the church and the other shit, but, um... Let's grab the stuff. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give my stuff. I needs it. We've got 66 people in our garrison. I don't think that's enough to take on the Aztecs, even with the allies we're trying to make. One can hope, I guess. Um, let's see, we'll get you on hunting. Get you on hunting. Goodwill hunting. Whatever. Let's see, we found some tribal scouts and we stole some of their equipment. That seems like the just thing to do. Come on, it's our fort over here. We rule this land now. 
I made weird noises. Man, herbs galore. Oh, we're not gonna go north. <laughs> we'll go for the southern ones. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up in the middle of nowhere. We wanna go way down here, because I think this is the meeting place. So I will meet you when we get, I don't know, somewhere around here. Somewhere that we haven't explored yet. So you don't have to see all this back and forth. Unless something else comes up between now and then. Alright, what about it? Ba -ba Words! Welcome back. We're kind of down here in the south now. We're like right around here. And we're going to try and get to the... If you remember a long time ago, two of the other tribes, or I don't know if you should even call them tribes, city-states, I guess, um, that wanted to ally themselves up against the Aztec, want to have a meeting, and we're supposed to be kind of like the impartial... Let me get that a second. We're supposed to be like the impartial mediators, so we're going to go there and try and help that happen. I see that treasure over there. I want to get it. Yeah, y'all. Oh, there's the Amazon territory right there. A mountain pass. I don't know which way to go, east or west. I guess we're going to go east. Oh. Um, where is that? Is that right there? There's somebody right there. I'm guessing we might have a fight right there. Right there, right there, right there. Say it a few more times. Alright, let's go down there and find out. Maybe we're gonna have to murder some Aztecs. If we're lucky. You're moving through the jungle, not far from the banks of the river, when a strange call rings out from between the trees. You order your people to stop and listen for the sound to repeat. Instead, seven women dressed in typical outfit of Aztec warriors step out almost soundlessly between the trees ahead and face you cautiously in a semicircle. Um, bows at the ready. Not a word is uttered. Uh, call upon a translator. Lay down your weapons or you will be destroyed. The women look at each other knowingly. They display no signs of acquiescence. Oh, I, right, fine, we'll fight. For the longest, very well, attack. For the longest moment, nobody moves an inch. Then almost before you have time to blink, the warriors scatter and vanish into the jungle. But some of your people just charge their weapons, but they hit nothing. Um, find them and kill them. Because <laughs> now the Aztecs are sworn enemies. Let's see, do I got everybody I want? Okay, scout, soldier, soldier, hunter, so, okay. We do have some more equipment. Put you up all the way. Oh, we can promote some more people. Pilar, I think, should be good. Martinez. There we go. Maybe we can finally use the um, cannon. Maybe not, because I attacked and not. A team. Okay, maybe I need to take the damn cannon thing off. Maybe I don't know how to use it, or it's got to be used in, um... Yeah, we can move, but we can't set up. Oh, I'm pissed. Here, you can suck on a lantern, woman. I'm mad. Alright, um... Anna, you plug this hole. Let's see, um... You hit any of those guys? Is that like a doctor or anything? Fuck, we'll just shoot at that guy. He's got to be pretty good. He's got a shield. Yeah. Sweet. Um, Rita, we'll just have you cover right here. Actually, you can probably shoot too. Good deal, woman. Nice. Pilar, how about you? Oh. There. There. Sweet. Let's ever go back there to a melee weapon and then um Oh, Sierra, can you come up here and hit anybody?
Yeah, none of those odds are great. We'll just have you uninterrupted. Hopefully if somebody walks up there, you can hit him. Well, that's, I guess, okay. <laughs> Don't shoot my boy! Leave him alone! Oh, I didn't see that they had two of those shieldy dudes. Man, I'm getting frustrated. I We built all these cannonballs, and we're not going to use the cannons once. Oh, man, that was a hard hit. Good, good, good. Mm. Alright, as their people burn... Rita, you've stunned this person. Excellent. Then, uh... Pilar, you just hit him hard. Good deal. And we're gonna do the same thing over here, I think. Uh, switch to your... regular weapon, Sierra, and just stun the dude. Then who got really fucked up here? I think it was Raphael, yeah. Can you double shoot this person? Yeah. Nice. Do it again. And these guys get pretty badass later on. We'll have Anna hopefully fish the person off. Well done, Anna Bananas. That's her warrior name. <laughs> I'm full of banana hate. Ah. Um, I guess it doesn't matter who we really shoot. Just take a shot at somebody. Sweet. I think that's good. Yeah. I should be making more lanterns since we're having such yeah. a hard time getting the actually getting to use the um, cannonball. I was gonna say cowbell. Attack with more cowbell. What Christopher Walken would do. <laughs> Retreat into fire! That's wise! Oh! Why did I do. That's the kind of thing I would do. <laughs> She's like, fire, fire! Alright, um. Pilar. Finish him. Nice. Then Rita. Isn't there anybody up there yet? Yeah, there's somebody hiding there within the smoke. Ah, that was a miss. Let's see, can we finish this guy off? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was worth a try. Come on, kill him. Murder yeah. him good. Sweet. What about you, um... Don Quixote. It's like, I'm not the horse. Hopefully that's good cover right there. You would think a wall would be. Yeah, and then Anna, run out there and stab him. Stab him good. Nice. He's got a fancy bow. But he feels good about himself. Yeah. So far, like, our most successful weapon, I think, is the lanterns. Shoot twice? No? Run away. Oh. Okay, um. Let's finish him off. Alright, Sierra, you come out. Can you get behind him? Oh, fuck. Well, that's not the best way to have done that. You know, when I say oh, fuck, yeah. then. Oh, it worked! Okay, can you shoot him? We'll use your bonus thing. For accuracy. Sweet. What about you, Gabriella? Do the same. Man, we're like a death squad. Some kind of brutal and horrible, but still. Alright, death squad, move forward. Shoot him if you can. Nope. You tried. You get points for at least trying. I 
I don't even remember why we attacked these people. I think it was because they were Aztecs. Sure, why not? Go, Raphael. Oh, I love these hunters. They got a lot of range and they shoot pretty well. Well, later on they shoot pretty well. Hell yeah! Pilar, finish this dude. Suck it, knob sucker. Yay! Victory! Nothing like brutalizing them for stuff. You search the dead woman and identify one who must have been sit lolly. Her outfit? Oh man, maybe we should have been friends with them. Has the most decorations. Their talisman matches Momozoto's description. So you cut her leather string that held it around her neck and secures it on her person. Then you have your people collect the weapons and talisman you can find on the rest of the warriors before you continue on your travels. Now I wish I'd friended her. Befriended her. Because I think she was fighting the Aztec. Man. I shoot first and take no names. Finally backfired on me. Oh well. At least we gotta kill people. That's gonna make us feel better at least. So, um... Is there a village around here? Let's see, I see herbs. Camp. Um, you! Work on, um... Oh shit, work on some spike traps, I guess. Just wanna use the cannon once. Got this cannon, we never get to use it. It's sad, it makes me cry. Whoa, there's like a village and a pass. So let's go straight north and find the... Well, was it a village? Maybe it wasn't. Oh, it was just Amazon territory, okay. So let's get down through this pass. I hope I'm not going to regret having murdered that lady. So far I've not regretted most of the murders we've committed. Man, all this time we've still not gotten to the place we were going to. Okay, so... Ancient Temple. I think we've been to that one. This is the one we need to get to. Just keep heading south. I'll leave that shit go. I don't really care about that one. Forward, my friends! Camp. What are you doing, frame rate? Oh, shit. No, no, no. I want that. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even... What? Give me the... Thank you. <laughs> oh, my word. It's like we couldn't figure out how to open it. I don't know how to open this. You lift the lid. It's too confusing. Nobody will ever break this code. <laughs> it's unopenable. Uh. All right. We want this. We want the treasure. Please, can we have that? We need it. We will die without it. I lied, but we still want it. Hey, our party, our hunting party came back in good spirits. This says that probably like every time. I just don't read it. Okay. Two, oh, almost 300. Hell yeah. Man, our dudes be cruising. Fuck yeah. wonder when they're going to be done with our... What were we making? A workshop? No, a trading post. A fort kick-ass McDuxia... Dicksuckia... Duck suck ya? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta go north anyway. Go, please. Go, go. Go down, Kyote. I'll give you carrots. Rita, I'm not talking to you. Okay. Okay, let's get up there. I'll build a workshop maybe next or stables. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's go up here. Go down, Quixote, go. You've got to get there. You're going to be like, you were three months late. Yeah, well, shit happens, man. Like, we had to murder some people, and then more people were being murdering. You know, it's hell out there, man, being the conquistador. So many people to murder, so little time. It's just, it's tough. All right, let's do it. Let's, um... Oh, wait, we got to camp? <laughs> that was anticlimactic. All right, let's just go in here. 
Can we... Si Suwatan is a quiet old woman who prefers to keep to herself on the journey, even though she seems to speak a few words of Spanish. The only time she speaks to anybody is to communicate the way to the meeting place. The tomb is a small pyramid in the middle of a burial ground a little way inside Tlaxcala's territory. You don't encounter any trouble on the way there. At first glance, the perimeter of the pyramid shows no sign of life. Let's uh, scout and check the perimeter. Your people spread out to make sure the perimeter is safe. Daniela Hernandez returns with concern on her face. A large group of people have come through here, Capitan, but they haven't entered the tomb as far as I can tell. From the tracks, I'd guess five people have come through here recently may still be around. Okay, that's not a large group, Daniela. That's not a large group. The entrance of the tomb leads a fair bit below the ground. The tomb is made up of three small chambers in a row, with the two rooms on the ends connected to the exit with a narrow corridor. Talaxicon Elder Alaxoc Chitol is waiting inside the central chamber. Astonishingly, there's a lot of extra, extra syllables there for you. He seems to have come here completely alone. Your people spread out to thoroughly check out every corner of the dark tomb and return to report that everything seems clear. All clear. Rafael Lopez seizes the moment of calm as an opportunity to lay out an analysis, an analyst, of your options. These are pretty cramped quarters, and you could work it. That could work in our favor if the meeting comes under attack. The way I see it is if we either assemble everyone in the central room close to the diplomats, we can split up and leave a couple of people to fortify the entrance, or if you want to trap it, you could put up some barricades. Um, let's scavenge the tomb for barricade materials. You order your people to look for anything that can be used as barricades in a pinch. And they get pretty creative, knocking over pillars that don't seem load-bearing. <laughs> that could backfire. I don't think it's load-bearing. Uh, tearing loose stones off of walls and even collecting some of the old weaponry left on the graves. The whole thing takes only about ten minutes. At the end of it all, you should have enough salvage material for four barricades should you need them. We're going to need them. Take up positions. Um, send a few people to fortify the entrance. Uh, let's do that. You assign a couple of troops to watch the entrance while the rest of your troops quickly fortify the tomb. And then you allow the meeting to get started. The two elders chat casually at first, but then they get to the heart of the measure and raise the, and their voices raise gradually. Just as your people are starting to look bored, a commotion from the narrow corridor makes everyone jump to their feet and draw their weapons. Much to your surprise, you seem to be under attack by five Totenak warriors? But they're on our side. For a moment, your people seem unsure of what course of action to take. Then Cito Chan screams in broken Spanish that the echoes off the walls of the chambers. That is the men of Sampoala. They'd not want Tlaxcala joining with Zaglapa. Fight them! All right. That's what you want, lady. It occurs to you that this is a rival to Tanakh faction, which has come to spoil the negotiations between the Zaglapa and the T Tlaxcala. Your cause is lost if they manage to kill either Chihuatan or Chilaxatil. They are not going to stop this alliance, because this alliance will bring down the Aztec Empire. I can only bring four, and they will bring us riches. Okay, um... I want Gabriel and Raphael. I want Pilar and Rita. Oh man, do I take away one of the... Fuck. We're going to take a risk. We're going to go with the people who shoot guns. Hopefully the barricades are in place and work. Hey, we can use the cannon thing inside a building. All right, so let's find out where the assholes are. That By that I mean the other guys, not us. I already know where our assholes are. It's in my butt. Um, why are you right there? Why are you right there? Are these the people we're protecting? Raphael, Pilar. Okay, we're the effing enemies. Look at all the fucking barricades we've got. I must have left somebody on barricade creation for a while. Okay, so how does the cannons work? Fire an explosive cannonball from the cannon that damages five random spaces adjacent in and around the target space. So, I would, oh, so I'd be like there? Oh no, that's not what I probably meant to do. Oh god. Fuck. Fuck. 
I didn't know I never used the cannon before. <laughs> the one nice thing would be if we could shoot first and blow that person's head off. <laughs> All right. Um. We can't move our troops anywhere else. Well, that sucks. Okay, our turn. Can we cannon? Does that work? Do we? Can even hurt them? The fuck? Cannon even hurt anybody? I'm pissed. I'm gonna double shoot, I guess. This is gonna be terrible. Nice. Do it again. Kick ass. Uh, Rita, you get up here and do the same. I mean, not that she can shoot twice, but. Oh, Rita. Man, that pisses me off. I didn't know that about the cannon. I never used it. Uh, I wish I had magic fucking spear now. Okay, can you get around the corner? Run like shit, Raphael. I mean, run like hell. Run like shit's not an expression. He's gonna be like, run like shit, coach. Well, there's our cannon. Please don't touch it. Oh, thank God you missed. All right, um, cannon. Can we, um... Oh, it's too far away. Fuck. Shoot that guy. <laughs> this, if this works out, this is going to be the dumbest battle ever. No, I'm going to drop a lantern there. I probably shouldn't, but... If they're trapped, fuck it. <laughs> they're going to be terrible for us in real life, though. I started a fire. Well, we're all kind of stuck now. Nice try. Okay, um, where's, uh, Raphael? Get him up here. And we'll get, um, who's the other person? I don't remember. Pilar. Get her up as far as we can get her. <coughs> well, at least we're burning people. That's our favorite thing to do. This might be the most anticlimactic battle. Yeah. Oh, please don't shoot our guy. Please don't. Yay! Oh, what if it burns our cannon? What if it's stupid of me? Okay, Gabriella, can you shoot twice? Yeah, try and get this guy. Nice. And again. Uh, it was worth a shot. You, Raphael, run up there and do the double thing too. Nice. Get a crit? Nope. What about you? Oh, kick ass. Then let's get up. Um, Pilar. Well, if we don't burn ourselves all down because I set the front on fire, we'll be okay. <laughs> I think. Yay, especially because they keep missing. I guess they can't shoot past the cannon or our awesome barricade. Oh no! Dickweeds. Okay, finish them off. Sweet! And uh, Pilar, why don't you switch to your gun? Try and shoot that man. It's burning man, literally, get it? Ah, oh, you don't have to go out to the desert. <laughs> Come, it came to them. Oh, now you finally decide to attack the barricade. It's too bad we can't fire a cannon there and just take a person's head off. Okay, that would make a lot more sense. Just unload. Nice. Come on, we want this alliance to happen. Nobody likes the Aztecs. Sorry to all my Aztecs viewers. I'm sure there's tons of them. 
Oh man, hit him, Gabriella. Finish the job. There you go. Can't believe they miss at that range. Aha. Uh -huh. It's gonna blow up soon. Those are usually not terribly strong. Just only got nine endurance. All right, that means we're gonna have to move our guy out of the front line. So you just uh, shoot this guy and then pull back. <coughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Never mind, I guess it's gonna work right there. Sweet, everybody's like just rocking it. Aha! Okay, so. Oh, and our fire went out. How nice. I guess it ran out of people to burn. Hooray! We put down the cannon and didn't do anything. <laughs> I guess keep your distance achievement probably means that you didn't have any melee combat. After a brief but brutal battle, you stand victorious and then both envoys are still alive. You order your people to search the corpses of the fallen enemies. And they retrieve a small amount of valuables and a few pieces of usable equipment. Alox is understandably more than a little upset at being attacked by the Totonac. But Chihuahua appears to bring out the full diplomatic arsenal of appeasement, appeasement, apology, flattery, and veiled threats. Oh, great. Eventually, Alox is convinced that not only did Zalaka uh, not have a hand in the assassination attempt, but you and your troops were specifically sent to prevent sp sp uh, precisely such an attack from being successful. It's weird saving people while we murder people. After Alox leaves, Chua Chihuahua start turns to you. Our many, our many thanks, Carlos de Sacro. With not you here, I maybe would not be alive now. Thank you, Tlaxacala, agreed to terms of alliance. We must return Zalapa and tell TBTP Totan now of what happened. Yay, we did it. Um, yeah, so eventually we have to return to right there and tell them that the alliance worked. Before that, though, we will probably explore this area and go work on our fortress and do that. But that'll all be in our next adventure. How was that for the cannon? I finally got to use the cannon. I didn't know how to how it worked. I put it down on the front line where we couldn't use it, and it was just frustrating. <laughs> that was a whole shit storm of... Oh, fuck. Whatever. <laughs> oh, well. Come on, go, guys. A scream forces its way through the humid air. From the right flank of your formation, you halt everybody. Laszlo is lying on a cart, clutching his stomach, evidently in great pain. This is the spider. What happened here? After asking the people clustered around him what transpired, it's clear that some sort of venomous spider has hidden itself away in Laszlo's sack. Ew. And bit him when he opened it. It's unclear. How do you open a sack? That's nasty. Keep your sacks in your pants. It's unclear. Keep your sacks in your slacks. It's unclear whether the spider has escaped or was just released. But the soldier is clearly out of commission for the time being. It must be treated as soon as possible. Fortunately, Pedro believes he has just the right remedy to treat this poison spider bite. All right. Um, where are you, uh, Carlos? You can go. Oh, I don't know. You can do the herbalism, I guess. Doctor, you're going to be busy fixing up Pilar. No, actually, unassign him. I'll do it. So we could have the doc, uh, I don't know, he'll work on herbalism too or some shit. Or hunting. And I think we'll do the rest of stuff next time. So, I probably said that before, but then I got talking about spider bites and butt bites and all kinds of shit. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Adios.